In this series of videos, we're going over how to build an app that is similar to Brick Breaker. Specifically in this video, we're going to cover moving the paddle or the user's bar around with the finger, right? When you drag around the canvas, when you're touching the bar, you should drag the bar with you to the left and to the right. And we're not going to allow up and down movement, just left and right. Okay, so if we think about uh, our dragged event, we grab it from our canvas, or rather, we're only going to want to use the dragged event on the actual sprite. Right, so we don't want to drag on the canvas, we actually want to drag the sprite. So the sprite has its own dragged event and it comes with several variables that are the same as the canvas's dragged event, except it doesn't say whether a sprite was dragged because you already know that because it's the sprite's dragged event. So if we think about the dragged event, what we have is the movement right, of the sprite Right, you want to drag it around and your start X and start Y are actually the location that you press on the screen and the current X and current Y are the current location on the canvas of your finger. Right? So we're actually moving though, we want to think about moving the X, Y of the paddle or the user's bar but the XY is the top left corner, and visually it makes more sense if we're trying to think about moving the center of the paddle, right? So it makes more sense if the our finger appears as if it's moving the from the center of the paddle. So our finger is always under the center point. Okay, so whenever we move we're actually going to have to translate our X and Y. All right, so we start with our dragged event and we want to get our X, right? We're only concerned about our X. We're not moving the Y, so we're not going to use the move. We're simply going to reset the X value, right? So we get the property for X, right? If we're resetting X and Y, we should use the move procedure. However, since we're only resetting X and we're leaving Y alone, we'll use the set block, okay? So to move it under our finger, we could easily just say, grab the current X and put the sprite there. But as we discussed, that would move the top left corner to right under our finger. Okay, that doesn't make sense. We want to move the middle. So instead of, since we're not allowed to move up or down and we want the center, we're actually going to get the center point. Okay, so we want to take the current X and do a little math with it, right? We're gonna take subtraction and the current X and we need to move to the left, right? We need to take the bar and move it left essentially, all right? Which means we're gonna take the sprites width and divide it by two. So player sprite width and divide by two. All right, so that gives us halfway across, all right? And we're gonna subtract it. So we're moving this XY point to the left by half a width of the bar. Effectively, making our finger 
be under that point. Right? We're not allowed to move the y, so we're always going to just concern ourselves with the x. Okay? So that's how we would move around our bar. So now whenever we drag on the sprite, it will update the location based on our finger's location on the camera.